Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. Squarespace recently made an update that lets us upload a file to a form on our Squarespace website. This is a much needed feature that I'm super excited about. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to turn on that feature and how to customize that form field with CSS. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I'm gonna hop into edit mode to show you how to enable this new form feature. I'll add a block of content and we'll select form from the list of content blocks. And now I'm gonna drag this over so it's not on top of the title, there we go. Let's double click on this form to edit it and select edit form field. This is where we'll be able to add a new field by selecting the add field option. And here I can click file upload. Now there are all kinds of cool settings available for the file upload feature. Clicking into this option, you can change the label to anything you want. Maybe upload your image here. In the description, you can add more details. Like maybe you only want them to add three images maximum. Say maximum three images and check this out. We can specify the maximum number of files. Instead of one, I'll toggle this up to three. Another cool feature is to allow only specific file types. In this example here, I want to make sure that people can upload images. So I'm going to turn this on and say just images. So no one's tempted to upload a video, audio, document, or even a PDF. You can also toggle on the required feature, which is available for any type of form field. Now that you've added those, let's customize it with a little bit of code. Right now you can see this form field does not look like the other form fields on my website. So I'm going to use CSS to make sure it matches. Let's select save and exit, and all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below, but we're going... But before you copy them, let me show you how to use them. Select pages directly underneath the word website and scroll down to website tools. This is where we can access custom CSS. I want this code to work for every form on my website, so I'm going to add it here to my custom CSS. The field goes by the code name file upload. So I'm going to add that code selector name. That field goes by the code name file upload. The first thing I want to do is change the background color. So I'm going to say background and we'll make it a solid white, just like the rest of the form fields. The next thing I'm going to do is change the style of the border. Instead of a dotted border, I want the border style to be solid so it matches my other form fields, and there we go. Now I want you to notice the plus sign that used to be a lot more visible, it had a solid white background and a black plus sign on top of it, now it's just a plus sign and it changes on a hover. We can actually flip that in reverse by using an invert filter, and let me show you what that looks like. Adding this code here, it looks like a very complicated code name. I think that's because Squarespace didn't expect us to want to change this feature. But all I've done here is say, take this and invert it. So now it's going to be a black circle with a slightly gray plus sign and it'll change on a hover. Now you can customize this any way you want. Maybe you just want to change the background color. You can say background pink spelled correctly. And there you go. Now it's a pink background for that specific circle. You can also change the shape. Maybe you don't want it to be a circle. Maybe you want it to have 90 degree corners like the other form fields. We can say border radius zero exclamation point important. And now it is a square. Pretty cool, right? Now there's one more code I want to share with you. And this code will change the text, add a file to anything we want it to be. I want that to be a little more customized for this particular website. Because we're uploading images, I want it to say, click here to add your images and check it out. This code made that magic happen. Again, we've got a funky selector class name here. I'm not sure why this is such a messy one. Usually Squarespace labels things better. But as of the time of recording this video, this works in any and all form blocks. So you can use this name to change that text. We actually removed the original text by labeling it font size zero. And then we added text after it that says, click here to add your images and change the font size of that to one. If you want to use a custom font here, you totally can add a semicolon and change the font family to something custom, maybe a serif font. Feel free to list any font family you've already installed on your Squarespace website to change the font family for that specific part of your form. Now, all of this is super customizable and underneath the video, I'll have additional codes. Just make sure that you update values like the background color here or the font size here so it matches the unique style of your own Squarespace website. 
I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we use to make those changes in Squarespace and links to related resources. So if you want to learn more about all the cool things that you can do with custom CSS to make Squarespace uniquely yours, definitely check those out. Be sure to head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn to check out my free training on CSS basics for Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.